All right, let's talk about Boogie on Reggae Woman um, by Stevie Wonder. Uh, I learned about this song from the band Fish. I'm a huge Fish fan, huge Tran Astagio fan, and I'll kind of play their rendition, you know, more so than Stevie's. But what I'm doing here is a A flat major. And then there's that tag there, which is an F sharp, F sharp to a D flat, you know? And I'm playing inversions of that. Right? I love these inversions, huge fan. Kind of like that. And when I'm strumming these, as I've talked in some of my videos, a lot of times when I strum it, I hit that low bass note, and then I'll do like a down up on the higher notes. rhythm might be a little off there but you know um, and they might do it every time you know Stevie's hitting those chords I think every time I think that's pretty accurate to how it sounds. Um, what I like to do is kind of mimic the bass line, like, you know, a little bit of that. And I do this when I play it, the solo. I guess I do this a little bit too when I'm playing with the band. And I do that there, which I think sounds really cool. So what I'm doing here, you know, you got that A flat major, then your two, slide up to your three, then hit your five and then what's going on there is it's kind of like a you know a d flat there with the four you know in the in the root there so you're kind of kind of getting that uh, f sharp some major sound kind of you know so and i'm only hitting three strings there. I'm kind of doing a hybrid picking where I'm using the pick and my fingers. So I've got a lot of stuff going on in this. You can really scale it down, chunk it down to just just that. Oops. You know? I like to see you. And it holds there on the one right across the floor. Then it goes to the four. I, I like to see you up to the um, a two, but it stays major until you holler four more to the five there, major five. You know, that two's kind of weird how it goes there instead of a minor two. So it's those four chords. I like to see you right across the floor. I like to do it to you. Until you holler for more I like to reggae But you're much too fast for me And I'll do that on the four I like to make love to you Until you make me scream So going over that real quick I'm doing the same trick on the four You know Actually going to the one one again up here so one two three up to the one and then that little trick you know same thing there going on and then up to this and then um, let me see what that sounds like I, I like to see you pop across the floor oh yeah it's up there there's that walk down too which I like to throw in there I like to until you make me scream so a lot of this stuff is done by the bass but I play it solo a lot and I like to throw it in there it just adds more flavor to it um,
but you know if you want to keep it super simple and sort of accurate to what's really going on i think with the guitar and maybe the piano i like to see you right across the floor i like to do it to you until you hide the fall moon And then it goes to the chorus, it goes two times through it that was singing, and then it goes Boogie Boogie on I'm not really sure how it walks up. I think Boogie on Rain Woman. I think I like to do that. Boogie on Rain Woman. Up through. There's that jump. What is wrong with me? And then I like to do this kind of that there's like a piano thing he does it's kind of similar to that it's not the exact same notes and then does this walk a boogie on reggae woman what you trying to do now so try that chorus again so boogie on reggae woman what is wrong with me boogie on reggae woman Baby, can't you see? Okay, so that's the whole song right there. Um, you know, you can kind of enhance it as much as you want, throw in some kind of licks and stuff, or you can keep it very simple, you know, just those chords. starts right there on this uh, B flat right key the song is in the key of A flat so it's starting on the that, that B flat bending up to the three right you know there's that B uh, sorry there's that A flat so there's the key here's your two which it's like starts on that two but built, bends right up to the three and this is a trick a lot of people use when they're solo especially guitar players We'll start the solo. Trey does this a lot where he'll start the solo bending up to that three, you know, and then climb, you know, uh, let it drop back down. And then. change it up a little bit there but I think he's doing exactly this so just really nice how with what four notes you got one two three four you can tell a great little story you know a really nice melodic line and you know that's I think some of the best players, you know, use less notes to tell more of a story and like. It's kind of got that sort of bluesy. You know, that bluesy kind of BB uh, King. Okay, so that's the solo. Um, you know, other than that, the jam section of it, Trey's pretty much just playing rhythm. This is one of those tunes where Fish is great about just locking into a rhythm where they're all, all four of them are kind of doing their own rhythmic thing, but it's it meshes really well, kind of like um, different cogs in the machine. You know, they're just moving together to make this big engine, this big steam engine kind of go. And it's super cool, you know, and Trey's just... Sometimes he'll throw that tag and sometimes it's just, he'll stay on that one. And he'll take it up an octave. Up here. You know, do that for a little bit. And 
drop it back down. And really, you know, he's doing a lot of that pretty much for the jam and really gets people going. I think those grooves, um, you know, it's a side of fish we don't see too often where they're all locking in rhythmically and nobody's kind of taking a lead or a solo. And uh, I love that, you know, it's kind of got the, um, maybe an Afro beat kind of feel, you know, or just, just a nice really groove or just grooves, you know, Fishman's holding the, uh, the drum beat down, the groove down, you know, no fills and Mike and Paige are playing a rhythmic thing that's just kind of repetitive thing. And, and with fish, they alter it a little bit, you know, each one of them slowly shifts it throughout the, the movement and it's not like they take lead but it just gives it some more momentum so um, I love when Fish plays this song I'm a huge fan of it and uh, I'm a huge fan of bands that do that stuff just lock in rhythmically and, uh, you know, and I, I tell you know I teach this a lot to people rhythm it's all about the rhythm you know leads fancy and cool and fun to play it's super fun to play but you know, the rhythm is the foundation, you know, like have that rhythm. And if you can play that rhythm, like you can hang with anybody because, you know, you're, you become the backbeat, you know, you become sort of the spine of the groove, you know. And so, you know, if the bass starts playing lead or even the drums are playing lead, if you're holding that rhythm, you know, it'll hold the tune, it'll carry that tune. So... So yeah, that's my take on Boogie on Reggae Woman. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Josh Pearson. Subscribe to my channel if you want to get more of these tutorial videos also. Come check out my bands. Uh, I'm playing in a Fish and Grateful Dead tribute band called Touch of Trey. We play a lot in Austin right now. We're trying to play more in Houston and Dallas and stuff. I also play in a Fish tribute, a live one, a Talking Heads tribute, Heartburn. And then I've been doing my solo thing a lot, just Josh Pearson playing solo. And uh, I got a, a good show coming up, opening for John Schofield at the Last Concert Cafe in Houston. That's October 16th, uh, 2022. So I'm really excited for that. I'm a huge John Schofield fan, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, come check me out sometimes or say hi. I appreciate the comments. Uh, thanks so much for perpetuating this dream of mine. Much love, y'all. Peace.